What's up guys, it's AFK Tech here, and today we're going to do a quick little vlog. Um, it's a little bit different of a content that I've been doing. Um, and today we're just going to take a look at my server closet, or what I like to call my server closet. So, I don't have it really cleaned up right now or anything, but this is my custom made server rack. So I built this out of 2x4s and then some old plywood that I had laying around. And it houses two servers for me. Um, well, actually, one server technically. One's in my apartment right now. So on the top, we've got a old Antec 902 that's got a old Core i5 750 in it, and I think 12 gigs of RAM right now. And this bad boy is running basically all my network attached storage for the house. It's a RAID 10 array with uh, around three terabytes of usable space. Uh, backs up my mom's pictures on there. Backs up my video files and all that good stuff. Um, I also sometimes I'll host TeamSpeak off of it, but I haven't really recently because I have a VPS in Chicago that I use for that right now. Um, down here, this is a little bit more of a network related item. So this is an old HP Pavilion computer. Um, I bought it off a of buddy for like five bucks. The hard drive had failed in it. Uh, I took the hard drive out and I used it and put in a new hard drive. I used it as kind of just like a side computer for a while until I realized how absolutely awful and slow it was. So I ended up repurposing it and now it's a PFSense router. So uh, it's got my firewall, it's got my routing built into it, all my DHCP. Um, it's a really, really hardy solution because you are using a full size desktop processor to process all your network traffic and you can run a lot of cool little uh, features on that. So I got VPN, so I can VPN into my network into the house, um, all into that box with a free little PFC, PFSense. Um, down there we got some junk. Uh, my mom makes me leave this table in here. We'll go ahead and take that out real quick so we can check out what else we got back here. So back here um, is kind of like my box storage area. So I got a uh, center speaker, left speaker, or left and right speaker over there that I have in my little home theater setup. Um, got my Think server, so that's the server that's actually at school that's hosting Plex. So that serves up all my movies to my roommate and I. And then back there we got a ton of different boxes, uh, microphone boom mounts, hard drive boxes, motherboard boxes, all that good stuff. So this is my power brick. It is old. I don't have a battery backup or UPS on these that might be a future upgrade we'll see um, but that's what we're using right now so this is my main network switch it's a Netgear GS 108T-200 NAS so this is actually a smart switch so you can get into it and configure anything for ports and link aggregation and all that cool stuff um, right now I've got it set so uh, some security stuff set up on it so there can't be DHCP um, issues within my network. Um, I got the Comcast modem right here. Uh, it's a Surfbirds um, SB6141. It's not actually Comcast. I got that from Best Buy. Uh, their routers and their modem combo thing sucks awfully. Um, so yeah, this is that custom server rack that I built. So down here I've got the power and then uh, some extra wires that aren't actually being used right now. Just extra Cat5 that can be crimped. Um, I got a hole over there and that takes the network to around my house so up to my the, up to the office upstairs and then to my room where I do all my work and where my actual desk is. Um, so there, this is the back of the PFSense, the router box. So uh, one big thing if you're going to be doing a router of any sort or any kind you would need to have a dual network, um, two ports. So the original port on here was only 100 meg so it wasn't really fast enough. I wanted to have a full gigabit throughput around my network. So I picked up this uh, Intel dual NIC off of Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks, no tax. Um, great. Intel NICs are great for just about everything. Um, if you don't have one in your computer, never hurts to get one. You don't have any driver's issues. Um, they're just awesome. I mean, outside of that, the computer's pretty basic. It, got, it has some old DDR2, I think eight gigs in it. It's plenty overpowered for the router and the purposes that it's being used. And then this is the back of the old Antec 902. This thing's old. This is my first computer I built, and it's obviously been repurposed. So now it's just kind of like a server, kind of puts around on it. Sometimes we'll put game servers on it for my friends and I, whenever I want to do like a private LAN server or whatever. So I'll open that up on my firewall and let them get into it. Um, outside of that, there's not really much else to show you. Obviously, you got like a little terminal console here. 
Um, the graphics card is actually out of the top server, so i5-750 didn't have any integrated GPU, so if you don't have a graphics card in there, you can't actually access the computer. Um, I just have everything that's set on startup, so it's running Windows Server 2012. Um, I get free keys from my school, like $3,000 keys, very nice, very nice perks. Um, got an old Dell monitor there, I used to use that for dual screen, and then I just kind of phased it out because it's honestly awful, and it's got a couple dead pixels in the middle, so it's a pain in the butt. Um, this runs over to my brother's PlayStation. I just kind of put that in there for him because he was having Wi-Fi issues. Um, we can go ahead and take a look at the wiring over here. It's not necessarily that neat, but it's pretty, pretty decently organized. So all the main lines come out over here behind this and then run up. That blue one right there runs over and around and then up through the ceiling to my room and then we've got the cable and other accessories so the other wire that goes up to the office kind of runs up here and then goes into that and that's actually what powers the router so that sends up the signal to the router well I guess what a traditionally you would want to call a router uh, it's actually considered an access point because I don't have anything set up on it except for just Wi-Fi so it's an old link uh, old Cisco like E3200. Um, that's definitely going to be a video that's going to be coming up as a new router coming in for me. But outside of that, you can kind of see here in my area actually. That's a little crappy chair, the nice chairs at my apartment. This is where it comes into my room and I have another Netgear switch. Uh, the Netgear switches are just nice, especially the business class ones. They got metal and the lifetime warranty. You can't really go wrong with it. So there's just kind of a quick, this is a temporary setup. This is just what I have when I come home on the weekends. But uh, if you like this video, guys, um, definitely subscribe. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of this vlog content. It's a little bit easier to do because there's just not as much editing involved. But I don't really know if anything that I'm doing is actually interesting to you guys. So if there's anything you guys would like to see, just let me know. There's a fish tank right there. It's been having some issues. Finally getting it all sorted out. It's clearing up. But uh, definitely drop a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it, because that's your <laughs> that's your own opinion. And leave a comment on anything that I can work on if you didn't like the video. Thanks, guys.